everyone, I'm Vaspina Nicola from Dare to Begin Life Coaching and today we're looking how our past mistakes do not equal our future, they do not define us and we're looking at that statement through Hercules and his 12 labours because as I said we'll be going through Hercules 12 labours and looking at how through mythology, you can look at yourself and you can look at what you're doing and try to correct what is not working in your life through stories, through ancient stories. Um, so Hercules came up against a tragic faith, fate. Um, he was born into a, he was born from the god, king Zeus, the god Zeus, he was the king of all the gods, and his mother was mort as was he mort mortal, so his mother was a human, and um, the mother um, she was deceived into thinking that it was her husband, but it was King Zeus, and so Hera who was the stepmother of, of Hercules, hated Hercules because it was, he was, the, you know, it, it was through infidelity that against her that he was born. And, and that's what happens to us sometimes. We are up against past actions of others and we are fighting things that we have, we, we, we don't know nothing about. It's not our fault. And sometimes we become victims of our parents or of society. And we become victims of victims of victims. I mean, that's how a generation, generational curses occur. And um, Hera, who was the stepmother of... Um, of Hercules, she actually made him go insane and slay his wife and his children. That's how much she hated Hercules. Oh, a bit of a story there, but um, learning through the labors, she made um, Hercules do 12 labors. And learning through these ancient stories, we can find like issues that are going on in our lives and look how through mythology we can tackle our problems. Today we're looking at more of a summary, but next week we're going to start on the 12 labors and looking at them at more in more depth. But um, it, it's a matter of resilience and being able to overcome any adversity to get through um, like curses that are put on a, uh, up against you and um, and through like through art and through stories and through movies and books and and videos I don't know YouTube videos even um, we can find the inspiration to overcome things that we are going through, the dark chapters in our life. And so let's just explore each of the 12 labors of Hercules, but we're going to do it quite quickly, but we'll be going into more depth anyway through April and May. So the first one is the Nemean lion. And Hercules, actually I've got a picture of this. Um, Hercules actually, where is it? Um, Hercules managed, here it is here, I don't know if you can see that, Hercules managed to, to kill this lion. And what does a lion uh, represent? It's the ego. So he managed to kill his ego, or he, he just faced the challenge head on. And it was through this determination and positive mi mindset, he was able to face his, his vulnerabilities and triumph over them and become strong. And it was the coat of the lion 
that helped him face the other 11 neighbors. So the first thing we've got to do is face our ego. And through that, through facing the ego and actually understanding ourselves better and being more um, humble, having humility and being able to understand things better, we can triumph over adversity. So the next one was the Lernian Hydra. Now, this is about um, like a whole, it, it's, it's the species that has a whole lot of heads. And what he meant, and it's like problem solving, but you have to get to the root of each problem. Because if you cut off a problem and you don't find the root of the problem, it's just going to grow back again. And that's what he was faced with. And so it, it's a matter of being able to systematically um, step by step, prevent complications from resurfing. And that's what that was about. That was the hydra there. The next one was the Sunian, uh, I'm not saying these right, the Sunian Nian, draw a hide. And this was about being able to capture a species that ran swiftly and it's about being calm. It's about having transforming difficult situations calmly and having patience and understanding and approaching a problem with, with empathy. With sac and, and, and this, this hind was sacred and he had to converse with um, the god goddess Athena. Athena in order to capture it, and it took him over a year. <laughs> um, the fourth one, I think we're up to the fourth, um, was the Eurymanthian boar. Now, this boar was very, very big and dangerous, and he was able to joyfully, with humor and joy, challenge circumstances that led to a successful outcome. And so this big boar, he was able to capture. And, and that was, um, he used humor for that. The next one is, so these are all how really difficult challenges, labors in our life, that we can find a solution for everything if we are able to use these things. The next one was the Urgean stables. These were filthy stables that had many, many years of cow, of, of, um, of dung, of, of, yeah. And basically, he was able to use his creativity and manage all of this like poo <laughs> for many, many years. He was he was able in a very short time to clean it out. And and that that that's about creative thinking and just washing away filth through creativity, such a daunting task. And he was able to use innovative solutions through um, you know, to manage this. Um, the next one is the Stymphilian birds. Now these birds um highlight again overcoming obstacles and using creative creativity and a strategic thinking focusing uh, with grace and efficiency and then we've got the Cretan bill bull and this is about how chaos and order um, and, and you, you have to like Jordan Peterson says you've got to um, get away from, you've got to create order in your life from the chaos. And it's about um, maintaining posture, you know, com composure and um, addressing chaotic um, situations and, um, and adversities. And I, I, I suppose, you know, your adversaries 
you can um, make them into your allies. So you can you can use opponents that can actually help you. That's that's what that one was about. The other one was the man eating horses, the horses of the Omedes. And this was um, this involved an act of kindness and understanding and compassion. Um, and yeah, the next one, the belt of Hippo, Hippolyta, and that was about um, helping others, finding love and understanding and facing challenges that result in unexpected rewards. And this, the cattle of Jiren, well, this was about um, adventure and finding joy and endeavors that can make challenging tasks manageable. And the, um, and the next one, the apples of Hesperides, and this was about retrieving the apples from gods. And so this was about communication because he wasn't God. He was half God, but he wasn't a full God. And so he had to use diplomacy, collaboration to overcome obstacles. And so all of these um, skills he had to, he learned. And the last one was Siberus. And that was actually going to the underground, actually going into the depths of his fears, going underground and actually challenging a situation with empathy and coming up with a transformative um, solution that changed his fears into strength and resilience and being able to cope. Now, um, and so through these 12 labors, we are able to look at what we're going through you know, through these stories and change difficult situations and challenge ourselves and become stronger and more resilient. Um, just to end, I want to pray with you um, so you can face your challenges. And this is a prayer that I got from um, an Orthodox prayer book. And it's requesting your guardian angel. And so here we are, in the face of our fears, we have tools to help us. We have a guardian on our side. We've got our angel that is actually stronger than us, that can help us. We've got our Hercules, our guardian angel that is there for us, that can go through all the daunting tasks. So here it is, O oh, holy angel, guardian and protector of my soul and body, heavenly companion in life. Do not abandon me, a sinner, nor let the enemy overwhelm me through my weaknesses. Take hold of my weak and feeble hand and guide me on the way of salvation. Yes, O holy angel of my God, guardian and protector of my soul and body. Overlook the many ways by which I have grieved you, which is every day. All the days of my life protect me during this day and guide me from every temptation of the evil one that I may not anger God by falling into sin. Pray for me that I may have the holy fear of not offending God and that I may prove to be a worthy servant of his goodness. And, you know, it's a bit like Hercules, no matter what he faced in his life, he was able to overcome these daunting tasks and we can, we can overcome them with our guardian angel too. Um, so, Nikki, hi, Nikki. Thank you for watching. Oh, gosh, thank you, Nikki Moore. I, I, I will. I will definitely. I will definitely. I've just sent you a heart. Um, now, uh, so 
that's about it. I don't know if, yep, that's about it from me, you guys. Um, I just want to say um, peace, love, and rainbows to you guys. And um, remember, you guys, ask your guardian angel to help you. And uh, you can be Hercules. You can get through anything. And um, I'm just going to say live your lives. And follow me next week where we'll be looking at more labors in depth. We'll be going through the first labor um, about the ego. We'll be looking at that specifically. Thank you so much for watching, Nikki, and everybody else. Love you heaps.